KD Plasma 6 is set to drop in Q1 of 2024, with early beta releases sometime towards the end of this year. Probably. And at least from what I can tell, it seemed like it's coming along pretty well. But there is one major feature that is still missing. One feature that will give it feature parity with Windows. This was posted by Twitter user Paul Therott. Fun fact about Microsoft Windows. If you type, they mean to say if you press because this is a hotkey, Control, Shift, Alt, Windows, L, a five key hotkey, LinkedIn will open in your default browser. This is an OS hotkey that cannot be turned off. It can be turned off with a registry edit, so for a regular user, yeah, effectively can't be turned off. I know this reads like a joke, but it isn't. You can theoretically press this hotkey with two fingers. It's not comfortable, it's not the way you would normally use a keyboard, but it can be done. More realistically, this is a two-handed hotkey. Now, there is some logic behind why this actually exists. So all the way back in 2019, Microsoft introduced a new keyboard design for the keyboard on their own devices. We have an office key and an emoji key. Now the emoji key doesn't matter. The office key is what we want to talk about. On any install of Windows 11 and any up-to-date install of Windows 10 after this was introduced, if you press Office plus W, it will open Word. If you press Office plus X, opens Excel. And Office plus L, it opens LinkedIn. Now you probably see where we're going. This Office key isn't really a key that has a meaning in Windows, like the A key, like the Windows key, like the Control key. Instead, they took the absolute easiest possible way to implement it and made it a shortcut to a modifier layer that nothing else would ever actually use. Control, Shift, Alt, and Windows. Nothing's gonna use a four key modifier layer. Now, because I said that, I'm sure someone's gonna say, I use a six key combination. And I'm sure you do. But normal hotkeys tend to cap out at three, like Control, Shift, Z. That's usually the longest that normal people are going to be doing. Now, the intended way to use these hotkeys is the office key and the letter. But due to the way they were implemented, it has the side effect of the ridiculously long combination as well, along with all of these other services as well, all of which being Microsoft services. If you didn't know, LinkedIn is also owned by Microsoft. Are these dumb hotkeys that probably shouldn't exist? Yes, but they do exist. Now, when this was discovered a couple of days ago, it kind of popped off, a bunch of tech media started talking about it, and also someone opened up a new merge request over on the Plasma project, Draft, Add Shortcut for Opening LinkedIn. This is necessary for feature parity with Windows, which has this shortcut. Meta Control Alt Shift L opens LinkedIn in the browser. Now, this is obviously a joke. This is not intended to be a serious merge request. But what if we just pretended like it was serious and sort of actually discussed it? Well, I wouldn't be alone here, and that's what pretty much everyone in the thread did. Even if some of the ideas are to make it considerably worse. So right now, it uses KDE Open, which will open your default browser. But that's not enough. Let's have it hard-coded to Microsoft Edge instead. That'll clearly make it a lot better. Now, this is not the first dumb merge request that has existed in this project. There will also prevent users from unpinning the best browser from a task panel. This is a joke MR because of a Windows 11 update that redefaulted every single user to Microsoft Edge as their browser and Bing as their search engine. So, Plasma obviously needs the ability to never let you unpin Edge from the taskbar. No matter what you do, it's always going to be there. Now, if the user wants to run this, they would go and press the hotkey, and then LinkedIn would open it in their browser. But the thing that's actually controlling how LinkedIn opens is a desktop entry. Now, desktop entries appear inside of your application launcher. So, it obviously needs some form of icon. Well, 
request Breeze icon for LinkedIn from the KDE VDG, the Visual Design Group. The problem is that's a reasonable idea. So we need something worse. Why not hard code the icon path to LinkedIn's official logo? Nobody ever needs to change the icon to fit in with their own custom icon set and it would violate Microsoft's branding guidelines if someone were to do so. This is not downloading the LinkedIn logo and then using that as an icon. No, loading the icon directly from the LinkedIn servers. First, I need to fix K icon loader so they can load icons from the internet. But that's not as bad as you can get. What you could do is make sure to use a redirect URL from some shady short links website so that every time you start up Plasma, you're not entirely sure if the icon is actually going to load or not. But you know, considering that it's current year, there's one thing we probably still need. This is incomplete without a proper chat GPT integration to generate LinkedIn influencer humble bragging success stories. Every time you go to LinkedIn through the hotkey, it should automatically fill your post box with absolute garbage business Facebook nonsense generated by chat GPT. That is exactly what we need. Now, considering the Windows solution isn't just limited to LinkedIn, why should this version have less features? What if we did this? Hey guys, this is nice and all, but in the spirit of free software, can we also add support for the two and other false alternatives to LinkedIn, which I'm pretty sure don't exist. This is very important for the user freedom, and we shouldn't be promoting proprietary stuff. In addition, KD should self-host both not LinkedIn 1, not LinkedIn 2, and maybe even write and not LinkedIn 3, as the other two don't use ActivityPub and can't communicate. I'm not sure why, but this is incredibly important for us all. But what good is it if it is just a KDE solution? We obviously need a cross-desktop standard. Additionally, we can make an XDG desktop launcher website shortcutters, I guess they're supposed to be shortcuts, standard so we can standardize on the list with XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, Obviously, GNOME would never implement it because they hate freedom, but all the rest of you can collaborate on other stuff like that. Thanks so much. We all know that GNOME would never implement it, so no point even getting them in the discussion. But look, if you're making a cross-desktop solution in the current year, it has to be a portal. I propose creating a LinkedIn portal for XDG Desktop Portal. It is important to get every D on board with this game-changing feature. What would that portal do? open LinkedIn, as should be expected. But look, if we're going this far, why not just take it all the way? What about implementing this as a core part of the Wayland protocol instead? This way, all Wayland compositors will have the functionality to be more professional faster. It would be one more advantage for using Wayland instead of XORG2. If this feature got merged, it would be in Plasma 6. But why should it be limited to the future version? Why not cherry pick it for 5.27 as well? Or why not go further back? Why not backport it to KDE 3? You know, users back then clearly want it. So if you backport it, then people from all of those years ago can make use of the feature. That's how backporting works, right? Like, is time travel. When there is a cross-desktop project like this, there tends to be quite a bit of bike shedding, but there are two projects that tend to just get in line with what other people are doing, Cosmic and Budgie, and in this case, we got the latter. Speaking for Budgie, we were unaware of this feature of the Windows shell until very recently, and we now believe this is an essential feature for all desktop environments. We will be implementing this soon in the Budgie 10 series, and we urge KDE to merge with MR as soon as possible to provide a seamless transition from Windows to Linux for all users. Now we don't just need more services supported, we also need customization in how the shortcut is run. Can we push for an option for the user to customize this shortcut? This is KDE after all, on the first page of the welcome screen. Maybe work with distro maintainers to not exclude it on their custom first page. Nate Graham, someone you will commonly see talking about Plasma has an idea. Yes, we can take the opportunity to ask the user what they want a single click to do. Single clicking files and folders. 
opens them or opens LinkedIn. That would be total chaos. I love it. I think you mean select them on the first option. It's double click now, silly. That will be a separate option. So for the maximum clarity and A++ UX, we would have two sets of radio buttons. So single clicking files and folders opens them or opens LinkedIn. Double clicking files and folders opens them if the option above is set to opens LinkedIn or opens LinkedIn if the option above is not set to opens them, which is completely clear and everybody understands what is being said. Maybe that's still a little bit too vague. Instead, double clicking files and folders does the reverse of the above setting for single clicking files and folders if the above option is set to the second item in the list, otherwise behaves identically to the above option. Or does the same as the above radio button but only if the above option, not radio button, is set to the first item in the list. Hopefully, that made more sense. Don't worry, that is not the end of the bad ideas. In my opinion, it would be funny to either bind the shortcut to open a competitor to LinkedIn, e.g. Jing, never heard of that platform, or to come up with a proposal for a KDE project named KDE LinkedIn. For a start, it could be a rename of some useful networking or communicating tool slash platform created by KDE, e.g. KDE Connect or some SNS platform. Now, KDE projects tend to be named with a K in their name. So, it could be called Kinkedin, which clearly wouldn't get confused with some other sort of platform. Not at all. This is very clearly a serious business platform for serious business people. You know, sometimes it's nice to not have a serious project to work on. Sometimes it's nice to just take a bit of time out of your day and just focus on something really dumb. Now that doesn't mean you should go and just make garbage issues on every Reaper you get involved with. Nicholas Feller is very well established in the KDE project and everybody here knows him. But if you happen to be a project leader, if you happen to be some sort of like maintainer on a project and you want to have a bit of fun, look, there are ways to have a bit of fun. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think this is a reasonable hotkey? If you do, I don't know why, but I want to see your reasoning. And uh, let me know how long your favorite hotkeys are, I guess. If you like the video, go like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out Patreon, subscribe to the Barrow Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... Press every single key at once. Just see what happens.